little quick morning snack right before my pre-workout. We got the layered protein bars, 20 grams of protein, four grams of total sugar. These bars are fantastic. Look at that, nice little pre-workout um, protein bar I'm gonna eat, that I've been eating pretty much before every workout. I, I mean, other days I've had sausage and eggs. Today I'm only gonna have this because I don't feel like cooking. I need to get to the gym. Looking kind of funny, look at these legs. I got these legs bigger. And we actually gonna train that today. But look at this ball. This, this delicious piece of protein is 20 grams of protein. Why, yes, Teron, it is. And you too could have this delicious piece of 20 grams of protein for 40% off. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 40% off. Use code AFTERMATH right now. Link in the description. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get it going. Hi right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We are at the gym right now. Today is pretty much a lower body day. So the last workout video was upper body and you guys wanted to know what I would do for my lower body. So we are going to be going through that today. Um, it's gonna consist of some type of squat, some type of power movement, um, some type of growth movement and uh, we just kind of just transition. So I'm gonna pretty much show you how I elevate my exercises throughout the workout. Um, why I start with this one versus doing this, you know, et cetera. And um, yeah, so let's get warmed up. We're gonna do mobility. And first off, something I like to do that reminds me of my track days, straight leg hamstring over hurdles, right? Focusing on the hips, getting the hamstrings loosened up as well. Boom, you can walk it. Boom, two, three, four. Or if you got tempo, kind of just hop into it. One, two, three, four, one, two. We do that 10 times, about three sets. We're gonna focus on the straight leg and then the laterals as well. So we'll do that two to three sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Come over here, lateral. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three. I'll go back and forth two times today. So I'm gonna do that one more time. And then the lateral. So focus on that straight leg. And then the lateral straight leg. Everything 10. I feel like I look ashy and funny right now. Let me go put some lotion on. <laughs> Damn, I hate, I hate taking a, sh a shit during a workout. Cause your ass hot and it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Ain't that the worst feeling ever? When you sweating and then you're like, damn, I gotta take a shit. You think it's gonna be like a quick one, like get it out. And then all of a sudden you're there for like 10 minutes thinking about your life on Instagram. Yeah. Ah! One thing you don't wanna do when you do this is, huh, uh. Like try to, uh, right there. We're not hurtling over anything. We don't do that. Because the thing about that is, is when you're, forcing yourself down like this you're 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 doing too much extension you're trying to reach over a mobility that you don't have which is why it's good to keep yourself upright when doing that because upright you want to get more stretch in this area right here so if it's too much for you just stay right here do this boom two right you don't have to forcefully do it how I did it. I'm just I've been doing it for years so there's a rhythm to it Eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four. All right, so starting out, first exercise we're actually gonna get into is the lying hamstring curls. Uh, the reason why is because I feel like um, hamstring is something that is very overlooked when it comes to you know squatting or just exercise period. Um, I feel like a lot of people are more quad dominant and a lot of athletes actually get a lot of um, hamstring injuries due to the quad domination over the, um, the, the strength of the hamstrings. So what I like to do personally is I come in here, I'll do about six to eight reps, and what we'll do is two legs up, hard squeeze, and then one leg down as a negative, about like two to three seconds. 
Um, mm -hmm. That way we're still building muscle, we're getting more time under tension, and we're building right. strength like in legs. the hamstrings. While as the extension in the, um, in the, uh, the hamstrings, you're getting, more, you're getting more fibers, muscle fibers torn down Three. and worked in the process. So, like I said, two legs up, squeeze, one leg down. The negatives, people who focus on those negatives, those negatives is what's really gonna build that muscle growth and that strength in the hamstrings. So it's very important that you really put a, a, a good focus on that hard contraction, slow negative. We're gonna do this for five sets. Five sets of four reps each leg. Go a little bit heavier. So next up, we're gonna do some power cleans, right? We're gonna do a clean and uh, five power cleans and then five front squats. And we're actually gonna do six sets of this, focus on some conditioning, a little bit of conditioning, getting some weight moving and explosiveness. We're gonna exaggerate that pull. Exposed, just violent. Everything has to be violent because you're, you're gonna have these violent actions when you're on a field, uh, whether it's football, basketball, soccer, whatever, because you gotta, you gotta have that you know, ign initiative to just get going and get forward or get somebody off you, whatever it is. Being violent movement is what's gonna make you better. What I mean by that, boom. One, two, three. Ooh. One, Ooh. two, Ooh. three, Ooh. four, Ooh. five. Front squats. One, two, three, four. Nice and easy. I'm gonna do this for five to six sets. Let's take this hoodie off. Now, we're gonna do some GHRs. We've got the resistance band right here. We're going for a little bit higher sets, about 10 to 15, I mean, 10 to 15 reps for these. Now, this is gonna be like the last um, weighted somewhat movement that I do because doing this before doing, you know, squats or power cleans, hang cleans, and, and then the, the pressure it gets on your back, it's not the smartest idea. Your back's gonna to be totaled out. You're not gonna to want to go into heavier exercises after something like this because it's gonna, it's gonna kill form, it's gonna pretty much put a lot of pain and a lot of pressure and tightness on your lower back. So something like this, after this, we just go free weighted movements, uh, body movements, plyometric movements. Um, but it feels good, something that you need because when running, when we're running, we wanna be able to stay upright, right? We wanna have a strong core, we wanna have a strong back, a strong posterior chain. And what that's gonna help us do is transition from being right here to right here. You know what I'm saying? You're low, you're low, you're low, boom. You know, you're up. And it's, it's gonna keep from fatiguing, you know what I'm saying? Having to hunt yourself over, having to be upright, and it's gonna keep you from injuries doing the people, you know, coming down and just being slacky. So, we're gonna do these reps. These are quick, explosive reps. You got the resistance band, like I said. Behind the neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, boom. We got four sets. Also more work on the hamstring and glutes as well. Tight squeeze at the top, down, tight squeeze at the top. Big contractions. Gonna try to hit up Steve Cook. We're driving to Denver this weekend. Hopefully me and Steve Cook can get a workout in because uh, we have to drive through Utah to get there. So yeah, man, hopefully, hopefully. Steve look like he could be a rugby player. He, he, look, like, he look like he already a rugby player actually on the real. So I like that he's transitioned from bodybuilding to more functional, sports mechanics, mobility type of training. 
That's awesome. That's what I like to see. He went from being a high-end, you know, professional uh, physique competitor to the training he's in now. And that's pretty dope. Now, as you can tell, today, you don't see crazy strength, crazy feats of strength. You know, you see more of a, a form, explosive, lighter weight, more repetition kind of day. And that's the thing with doing these push-pull and leg days. We'll have a push-pull day focused on strength uh, for one muscle group or focused on volume and uh, endurance for another muscle group. And then we'll, uh, then we'll have the next one pretty much you just reverse. So I'll have you know a crazy strength kind of day and then one more focused on mobility, uh, performance, uh, endurance. And uh, that's kind of how I switch my training splits out. That's pretty much what we did um, in high school. And I've kind of kept that, and that's what worked. It worked, it got us in shape. It got us you know, where we needed to be. Um, and we trained everything twice a week, uh, upper body Mondays, legs Tuesdays, conditioning Wednesdays, upper bodies Thursdays, legs um, um, Friday, and then, you know, whatever we decided to do on the weekends, whether it was just more conditioning, uh, resting, yoga, whatever it was. And this is kind of the method that I feel, it, it just works, you know what I'm saying? You get enough rest and you get all the training that you need in. Right now, when you see, when I see rugby players, when I see the tackling and the difference, their, their positioning is a lot, because you know, football players, we just throw ourselves a lot of times. We just kind of just throw the, throw the shoulder pad in there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, there, there's, there's form in the tackling, but what I see a lot more rugby players is because I think they, you have, to, you have to tackle below the chest, right? So I see that position right here. They're a lot more in that linebacker position, you know, when it comes to tackling. You know, right here, and then boom, and wrap. You know what I'm saying? That's like a shoulder punch and, and wrap, wrap the legs, boom. So we want to focus on that explosive movement right there, being in that position and then coming up, you know what I'm saying? A hard explosive push up to knock their ass back and then grab them legs, boom. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit back in that position already. I'm going to kind of be on the edge of this right here. Just hands ready. We're going to do five reps. One, two, three, boom. Drive those arms through. One, two, three, two, three, three. So I should lunge into it. Four, three, five. Relax, and then we'll do it again for four sets. All right, we actually gotta end it there. I actually gotta go get my day started. I uh, got some packing to do. By the end of this week, we will be driving to Denver and uh, hopefully we can get that collab in with Steve Cook. Uh, this is not fully everything. I would have done two or three more exercises, but like I said, I have to go. Um, so we'll cover that in another video. But the next video, we'll do conditioning. And uh, I've been doing rugby conditioning uh, pretty much every day. Some type of uh, either the Bronco shuttle. Uh, my fastest time in the Bronco shuttle right now is a 4.50. Uh, so considering, you know, for my, you know, I feel like it's pretty decent. The fastest, four, the fastest Bronco time is 4.12. So I, I got a lot of work to do. Um, I, bought a, I bought a training mask to kind of help me, you know, somewhat, you know, is it, is it high altitude? No, it's just constricting your airflow. Uh, but in a sense, I used to use it, it made me feel good. I mean, I felt more endurance doing, using it, so I'm gonna use it again, and, you know? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we're gonna be using that again for conditioning, which is probably gonna cut my time down even further. Um, not further, not down, up. Instead of like 450, I'd probably be like a five, 20 or something using that thing uh, but we're gonna get that done for the next video is conditioning so uh, like subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video